Hey guys, Jazz here with another tutorial. Uh, the Element 3D stuff I'll probably do tomorrow. I just want to do something a bit different today. Um, I'm also going to split this one up into a few bits, so I hope you, uh, it's not going to be too long. It may run up to about 15 minutes though, so um, be prepared to watch a little bit. Uh, so yeah, today's tutorial is going to be on Plexus. A buddy of mine wanted me to uh, sort of explain to him a bit about Plexus, how you use it, manipulate it, etc, etc. I've got a few examples here. This is the video he sent me where um, Plexus was being used. So I'm just going to show you uh, about 15 seconds of each particular video I have and then we'll jump into it. So Plexus itself is the sort of um, lines and vertices and shapes and stuff. Um, this is what we'll be looking at today, all these different like, little shapes and stuff. Uh, not these ones, but just the whole lines sort of thing. I'll show you another video. We're in the first part of this, I'll show you another 15 seconds of this. So as you can see here, it's been used in a slightly different way where we still have all these little figments of Plexus come floating around, but this time he's used it to create a hand. So that was pretty cool, I thought. Um, and we'll also look at uh, the last one. It's only in a very small bit, so I'll just pause on the actual bit. So if you can see here, uh, my friend, this is uh, by my friend Ryan, I'll, uh, by the way I'm going to link all these videos down in the description, so make sure to check them all out, they're really good videos, um, but onto this, so as you can see he's got a bit of different colour and you could see the sort of uh, the plexus morphing a bit as well, so it was it's quite a cool effect, and let's uh, jump into sort of how to use it, and then how to sort of explain plexus, well, you have these other systems such as particular and form and stuff which are particle generators and how you can manipulate that well in terms of this is this also like a particle generator but it's like you can create lines which connect the particles together and it depends on the distance sorry it depends on the distance of the um, of the particles or points as we're gonna call them we're gonna call them points because that's how they're called in this but it depends on the distance of the points um, to how uh, light or like um, how the, opa the opacity of the, li uh, the line is. So we've got our new composition here. I'm going to add in a solid, it doesn't really matter what colour. I'm going to rename this to Plexus just because I like to keep organised. That deal. And we're going to add on Plexus. And I think my computer's going to be a bit slow today, but we'll see. Hopefully not. So we'll go to our effects tab and you'll have these two already there. Uh, we'll just get rid of this. F mm, we don't need to get, well, we'll just get rid of this for now. We'll go through each individual bit. So we have a few different sections here for the actual toolkit itself. Uh, one is add geometry. So you can do layers, paths, OBJs primitives and instances. I've never really messed with these two so I'm not going to go into them into this tutorial. Um, but I'll look at these three definitely. We'll also look at an effect as to how that might um, warp the shape maybe or might be colours or um, so we'll have a look into that. And a renderer so that's going to make your points, going to make your lines. Uh, you can also make facets and stuff uh, in shapes which I'll show you shortly. You can make sort of triangles within the shapes as well and beams. I've never really messed with beams but I might have a go in this one. Uh, by the way this tutorial is going to be more of a um, explorative uh, tutorial so I'll be doing things as I go along since I haven't really used Plexus in a, a while, probably about four months or so. So hopefully I still remember most things. So first thing I want to do is I want to show you the paths uh, object. 
and the paths um, rely on masks so we're gonna create a mask and it has to be on the same uh, solid that you have plexus in so let's create one and we're just gonna create like a um, a simple rectangle and it doesn't really matter how big it is but we're just gonna make it sort of roughly this size now what we also want to do is we also want to have subdivide mask and points on these masks you'll see why in a minute and I'm just gonna increase the points actually I'll just decrease it a bit to about 50 and by this I mean it will just it will just make 50 points around the mask itself uh, so the next thing we want to add is an, an, a points renderer. Now points renderers are important. You'll see why in a sec. Um, to see the points themselves, we want to increase the point size. So we have this mask kit and it has points. If you can slightly see it, I don't know if you can see it via the resolution that I generally render at, which is 720. Uh, um, I'm getting a new computer, so I, and that has 1080 screens. So I might render at 1080 uh, the next tutorial but let's increase the point size and as you can see we have 50 points here if you want to count them up you can do I'm, just, I'm not going to do that but we have our points here and they're not connected by the line that's just gonna be there when you um, click on the mark itself but we have all our points here and if we increase the number of points so if we make it 100 like it was originally then you'll have all the lines like so you may even have some touching together um, but yeah, we can also increase the opacity of the shape. I'm just going to put it at 100. I don't know why they have it at that. And also, if we look at this, if we look at replicas, maybe. Yeah. If you replicate it, it will create um, the shape again, but in sort of 3D space. So I guess for this, we'll add a camera. And you can use any, really. Doesn't really matter to me. And we're gonna come out with our camera. These seem quite a bit thicker than we had before, so we're gonna decrease the size of the points quite a lot to maybe like two. Yeah, that looks nice now. And this. So we just sort of mess around with this like this. You can see. Um, in the replication I put four so it created four of these uh, you can make as many as you want so if we make about uh, 20 it will create in that sort of shape as well and you can rotate this as well if you want to it won't do anything in Z but this is your points and uh, anchor points and stuff and your extrude depth if you increase that that will just make it more spread out but we'll just keep it smaller and I'll keep these down to four just so we can uh, sort of look at it. Turn that off. Uh, I guess this will just keep showing up. Too bad. Uh, maybe actually no. Yeah, get rid of that. There we go. Um, so the next sort of thing we want to look at is another renderer. Obviously, you can look into the parts object even more. And there's lots of uh, there's a few different things you can do as well. Um, also, you can put these into different groups and stuff. But I'll explain that probably in the next video not this one so I just want to turn those off and again you can mess with all this stuff yourself uh, so just turn this off so our points renderer that's pretty self explanatory it just makes uh, how big your points are and you can have a look at the other, all the other bits as well but there's not really much more that you need to know from that next bit we want to look at is if we add a effector so like I said, effectors sort of distort it and uh, show you how you could do it. So if I add a noise generator, and if we increase our noise amplitude, you can see it gives it this whole um, random effect maybe. It's quite random I'd say. If you just keep doing that, then you go like that. But if you have it just a little bit, it look quite uh, sort of like a wobbly effect let's say. That's it. That's not bad uh, terminology. Um, you can also have this affect different things, so you can have it affect scale, and you can see it affects scale differently, and looks uh, looks interesting. You can also add in another one of these, so if you can, you can add in as many as you want. If we add in another noise uh, effector, and we have this one just affect the position. 
so you can have the first one affecting scale, the first next one connecting, uh, um, affecting, sorry, uh, position. You can also have it affect the color as well, so you can have it different colors. But we're going to get rid of both of these for now. What other things can we do? So we can have a spherical field. Uh, again, you just want to. This is, this is more to do with effects and stuff, so uh, light and stuff. So we'll go into that another time. Another effect is uh, transform, maybe. So we just rotate it all, and we can um, move the center somewhere else. Uh, that doesn't particularly do anything, does it? Uh, the center comes from this actual thing. So if you rotate it, then that'll be different. But you can control the scale of the shape as well. Leave it at normal. Let's get rid of this as well. What else have we got in here? Uh, color map, shade effect. Uh, these are pretty obvious. I mean, colors is all about how you can change color. Um, so look at more render options now. These are what you're going to want to look at next. So if we look at our lines renderer, and if we add in the lines here, you can see it's created a solid line between each thing. And if we turn on the distance, just a little bit then you can see we've got a nice just a general one line between each thing so we've got a nice general line between each thing and you can also you know, decrease de increase if we make this just you can if you increase this it'll make more sort of lines in between these uh, bits here but I'm just going to keep this at like one Oh no, we need more than don't we? Just want to keep a very small amount so we have our one line bit here. So we've got our lines here again, and you can mess with the opacity of this. So if you just like mess with this, I don't know, smooth this out. Um, you you do that on yourself, and you can also mess with the thickness of the lines. Ooh, that's way too much. But yeah, we just want to keep this at like one or two. We'll do for this. What else do we need to know for the lines renderer? Um, well, it's just uh, you just uh, have a look at these yourselves and uh, mess with all these settings. And I don't really need to keep ex I don't need to explain all the individual bits, but it's quite obvious. Uh, next thing we want to do is um, our face set facets renderer. So if we have our facets, that's that'll create like a um. A line between these, or not a line, but like a full solid thing that so that connects it, makes it look like a um, a box maybe a box of sorts. Yeah, maybe just keep increasing that. But again, this will do it between our layers. I hope I'm not going too over now. And if we also let's look at the last few things. So if we look at our triangulation. Um, I'll take off the facets for now, and I'm going to turn down the where is the uh, path renderer replication. I'm going to put this to one, so we can just focus on the one. Let's zoom in. Probably been easier to show you how the how this works with a different mask. Let's add in a different mask because I think mm, God's sake. Let's get rid of this mask and we'll add in a simple uh, general mask like so. Now let's go back down to our Ooh, male, yay. If we look at... And we'll turn down our distance as well. Actually, if we increase the distance, that'd be cool. Sorry, I'm just sort of messing around with this stuff at the moment. Um, I think it'll be easier to explain the triangles in a different one, so we're not going to mess with that. And beams as well you can mess with but again I'm, I'll use that in a different tutorial for now I want to go back to our original shit that we had and let's come back to this yeah 
So we're gonna get rid of our triangles and get rid of the facets and we'll come back just to our original thing that we have here and see that. So I mean it's pretty simple how to get to this stage. Uh, let's look at a different uh, uh, geometry. So if get rid of the shape at all and we don't really need the mask so we'll get rid of the mask as well. Let's add a different geometry in. So if we add in our layers object this will be affected on lights. So if we, let's create a few lights. And you want to make them point lights because we've specified that they're going to be point lights in here. Point lights are easier to sort of manipulate with this, so I would recommend that. And make sure you choose whichever color you want it to be. And we're going to duplicate this a few times. Now let's move these. And I think I'm just going to delete the camera for now. So we can just move these in simple space. So here we'll. Again, these create the points so what you've learned before in terms of the distance of the points equaling how the um, how this will affect it then that's uh, what you want to know uh, so the thing we want to do is we want to create our line render is fine but we're going to delete we want to take down our points so we've got our points, my bad, let's just reset that. Our line render is what we want to mess with again. I just want to reset this and I want to increase this. And with this you can create more of a 3D shape as well. Uh, a bit of a different shape too. This is more along the lines of the sort of um, shapes that we want. So if we just like get rid of one of these, you can see like these are the sort of shapes or we just Put one to the side. Make it forward. So I just put one to the side, like so. And we duplicate it. And something like that. I don't know. It all depends on your creativity, as I always said in most of these tutorials, of how you do things. But you can create as many shapes as you want. And of course, if you have like a hand, then you want to put these uh, lights around the hand themselves, and you want to mess with the lines renderer of the distance and stuff, and make sure it looks cool like that. Now, what else do we need to know? Um, so the layers object is all to do with lights. We're gonna get rid of this, and we're gonna move on to our next thing. And I just want to check the time. I don't want to really go 15. Oof. I want to. <laughs> my bad okay let's wrap this up within the next two minutes and this will just this is just your basics of uh plexus itself i don't want to go over 20 minutes so we'll leave our points and line renderer out or yeah let's leave them there the next geometry we want to look at is obj's i'm not going to touch these two because i've never messed with them but let's look at obj's So now we have our OBJ we have our OBJ uh, geometry object here. So now we're going to create and import an OBJ into it. So you'll come up with something like this. We press open, and I don't know what to uh, open in terms of an OBJ file. If you remember from the last tutorial, I explained that OBJ files are made in a 3D object. Um, 3D makers uh, programs and stuff so such as Cinema 4D, 3D, 3DS Max and um, Maya I believe is the other one. Oh great, we have to go to it. Okay, you can have a look root through my stuff. Yay. So go to Documents, Video, Copilot and we'll go to our Models. If you have Element then you'll have this here. Uh, so if we go to our no, let's not go to our start pack. Let's go to something from some. Uh, let's do a human heart. Uh, at one time, I had a human heart OBJ. Oh, I have still have it, of course. There we go. Now let's get that. 
and we'll press we'll just leave it and press uh, OPJ file sequence assign and press OK. Now if we zoom in we will get to our heart. Have I got a camera here? I don't even know. I haven't got a camera. Alright, let's correct camera. Press OK. Let's go in. Am I going too far? It's gone. <sighs> the whole computer slowed down now. Brilliant. Come on. Forwards. Slowly does it. So now with this, we will want to um, turn down the uh, points, and maybe we to turn off the lines now. And we'll we need to turn down the points down to one, I believe, or zero. Zero? No, it's got to be one. Uh, it's very small. That's what it is. So if we, the quicker we, the more go in. So here we go. Oh shit! I hate having to deal with very small objects. This is kind of my bad. I should have um, looked at this before. But anyway. Also, let's create a uh, null object. Because dealing with this would be very stressful. And we'll turn this to 3D. So now I can just uh, wiggle this. I mean, not wiggle, but there we go. So if we look at this now, you can see there's a lot of little points in this. And what we also want to do is we want to, I think we still need to make this a bit smaller. So maybe we'll make this like 0 0.03. And you should be able to see a lot better now. And just want to zoom in even more. So bring it out. There we go. It's always much easier to look when you're using a null object, I think. So we've got all the little different points here from this OVJ. And this is going to end up being 25 minutes, isn't it? Damn it. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so we've got all these different points here. If we turn on our line renderer as well, then this will become more of a solid thing. Or it should have done. Some things are just not going to distant plan, are they? I think it's still trying to render the frame. Ooh. So we turn this down to about one, maybe. <laughs> this is going to be hard. Let's put this down to like 0 0.1. Ugh, still too much. I'm going to make this one. And we want to increase this then. Or maybe not, I don't know. I really shouldn't have chose this model, because it's pretty shit to use. Don't know why I did. Ah, uh, come on. Let's leave it as one, and there you go. You can see that I've created a 3D object out of that. I want to create, I want to import another OBJ because this one's crap. So I'll just delete this OBJ in general. I want to delete the camera as well. And we'll delete our null. So let's add another geometry, another ob Im 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 OBJ. And we're not going to use this model this time because we're just trying something more simple. So maybe this spray can hopefully this isn't going to be as crazy no did it even show up uh empty file sequence <laughs> it didn't even show up i've always found this a uh, bit a bit annoying the obj bit but um i don't know open something else instead it's being a bit of a bitch maybe the alarm clock will work better uh, we have something there I guess so maybe if we increase all this stuff now 
we'll get something. One. There we go. And let's create another camera so we can get up close to it and rotate it. So a camera and null. Again, it doesn't really matter what it is. And null. And Pickwick. Oh, wrong one. Pickwick this over to that. And make this 3D. So that's. So we have a model right way up now. And we're going to zoom into it a bit as well. Again, look how many different little points there are, and this is crazy. This is a proper video. This is like. I always love how many how much detail goes into all this. So now let's try adding our lines to it. I'm not gonna let's go oh, bloody hell, it's over twenty five minutes. <laughs> okay, this looks like to be working better now. So we've created an object from an OBJ into Plexus and you can manipulate this how you want. I'm not going to go into much more detail with this particular one because it's just silly. I think they need to <coughs> better increase that, um, not better increase that, but make it better. And obviously if you had the OBJ, so if you just go back, you can add on even a effect to this as well. So if we add our noise. We increase that noise. Then you get all these different little points and stuff. And since there's so many different ones, you get crazy amounts of this. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably enough for today. And it's already been way too long. Uh, so I'll do another tutorial next, um, probably about how you might uh, use these in videos. Um, I've got a few different clips here. So I've got a picture here. Just a just general static picture. I'm gonna create like an, a, a netting around him, and maybe I'll mask out an arm or something, and make it uh, a thingy arm, a plexus arm. I've got a nice general clip here, tracking clip, uh, which I would show you if my computer allowed me to. Yeah. Okay. I think you might have seen this clip already before in my uh, text tracking tutorial. So again, this will sort of implore the same sort of thing of applying 3D tracker, but we'll uh, cr uh, what we'll do is with the um, Plexus itself, we're going to create a pre-comp out of it and then uh, pick that to a null. And we've also got one more sort of tracking clip, uh, which is more like the first clip that I showed you. Uh, that was the video video by Vams of uh, more of a thing coming in like so so I'll just show you how it would work in that and similar sort of thing this is from Genius Party Beyond a very uh, crazy anime to say the least um, I only really like the last one because uh, it's it's a set of different things but um, yeah it's pretty gold uh, editing gold mine if you uh, want to look into it Anyway, this tutorial has been way too long and I've got things to do, mainly revision and stuff. So I hope really you found that um, informing and hopefully you've learned a little bit of how to uh, mess with uh, this itself. We'll just go back to this. It's a really cool uh, plugin. And uh, it has a lot of different uses, not just this. You can do like text in this as well. So I'll probably show you how to do that soon. Anyways, till the next tutorial, guys. Sorry it's taken so long. Um, also, I'll be doing the Element 3D stuff soon. If any of you are still listening or still want to know about that. Anyways, see you later, guys. Bye.